Uh, we are one of the artist groups. We worked on Vicky's passion project. This is who we are, and our artist was uh, Vicky uh, Passion. So uh, we were tasked to create a data-driven marketing strategy for her that was actionable. We wanted to, we took the goal of driving increased monetization opportunities for her via higher uh, DSP streams, because that's how she can monetize right now, and also build a fandom community and cultivate that for her desired target audience. We looked at the, how we looked at this is taking the marketing strategy as the overall umbrella using the community management and social strategy, financial plan and website under uh, as tactics for that. And then we also looked at her current market data to see where she was at and how we could potentially reposition her to her target uh, audience. Uh, we made recommendations to meet our target audience where they were on social media, uh, some phased engagement tactics, and then redesign, redesign the website to drive people to the places we want to go. Um, so introduce our artist real quick. She's originally from the UK. She's 31 years old, falls into these genres. She's signed with AOL right now, uh, and she's been an independent artist for four years. So to understand Vicky's trajectory better, we looked at some of the data of some of the artists she aspires to be like, and their current strategies wouldn't allow or wouldn't translate since they're at a different stage in their careers. So that's when we found Kara Marney and Wolf Tyla, who are mid-level artists similar to Vicky, uh, which we sourced through Chartmetric, and we think that they would be good artists for Vicky to emulate. So then when we looked at Vicky's current audience, we saw that her TikTok audience was not turning into streams. So you see her audience on TikTok is 73% male and 28% female, but on Spotify, it's 53% female and 43% male. So then we, when we looked deeper, deeper at her large, large scale emulations, we saw that they have predominantly female audiences. Um, and the, the mid-level artists do as well. And because of that, and because Vicky expressed that she would feel more comfortable, uh, that she feels more in tune actually with her female audience, and because her current audience isn't converting, we wanted to define Vicky's target uh, audience to be more similar with her emulations target market. Um, so then when we looked at some of the data of how to market to this audience, we found first on Luminate data, we saw that they're interested in cooking, movies, uh, they listen on their smartphone and they're uh, interested in mental health. And then we also looked at audience and chart metric. And from there, we were able to glean that they're into healthy lifestyle, fitness, yoga. And these are some of the brands that they're interested in. Then when we looked back at the mid-level artists, we saw that we really liked their TikTok strategy and their Instagram strategy. So we then looked at some of the things that were performing really well. Um, for those two artists. And we found that their POV videos, the open verse challenges, um, that this song sounds like some reels of uh, lifestyle and dancing. We found that those would perform really well for that audience. Um, and they're very similar to Vicky in terms of their profile. So we think that these would be some good strategies for Vicky to take over. So moving on from there uh, with the community and social ma media management, uh, we want to try to double her streams and listeners on Spotify and YouTube within six months, uh, somewhat of a reasonable time timeline, but also use the data to, to drive that um, if she needs to make adjustments to, to test it within the first one or two quarters. Meet her artists where they are. They're primarily on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So short form content going live and creating hashtags can give her an ability to uh, overlay her music onto the content that she makes to drive people more to listening to it and also give her an ability to interact with fans um, live. Uh, similarly for community management, Chance the Rapper, we found this is a good example of somebody who has a good case study of interacting with uh, fans. And so we use that as an example for Vicky to emulate. Uh, for email marketing, we want to build that comprehensive mailing list. She doesn't really have one right now. And as we mentioned, her target, her audience right now isn't where she really wants to be. So we want to try to drive people towards getting onto our mailing list right now so we can start cultivating the audience that she does want to, to reach. We saw some MailChimp data that uh, music industry open rates and click rates are slightly higher than above average. So we think email may still be a, a decent way to market to people. So how we want to do that is on her social posts, we want to include CTAs that link to her, her signups uh, for the mailing list. Similarly, on the website redesign, we focused on that, on some of the buttons, and we could also offer some incentives for people who are part of the mailing list um, to get them a little bit more uh, you know, incentivized to, to go onto there. Um, we could also geolocate and target certain markets. Um, for a financial plan, she has about 5K um, in British pounds, so the numbers are a little bit wonky, but we want to focus on new content, um, more paid social ads, and email marketing. And I'll stop share real quick and move over to the website briefly to just give you an in, a, a follow on of that. We found that most of our audience was on mobile. So we did mobile design first. So we, like we said, we want to focus on getting people to stream and to subscribe. So that's what we emphasize there. Um, we, she wanted a sleek design with the, this kind of color screen, so color uh, scheme. So we want to highlight her, her already, her work and discography, and then also close by getting people to 
subscribe and give her some of the clout that she has socially for some of her interviews. Ah, and of course, it took too long to, to actually get onto there. So uh, I know that we're out of time, but I'll scroll was, up real quick to. That to was pretty good. It. You you did yeah. really well there. <laughs> yeah. Great job, guys. Um, our judges, uh, we're going to open it up for questions now. Uh, Theo, right away, go ahead. Yeah, hey guys, um, thanks for the presentation. Um, why email marketing over like a direct to fan platform like Lalo or some something more uh, sort of direct and, and in people's faces? I mean, I'm I'm wondering if based on the demographic for this fan base, it may be it, like you may find some more success going the texting route and developing a sort of communication channel that way. But I'm curious, like what the rationale was for email first. Let's see. So for rational for email, we still we wanted to give her. I mean, candidly, we used it as just a little bit more traditional and just more of what we were, were used to. Um, but we felt like there was still a good way to to reach them because people were online on their phones primarily, especially how they consume content. Um, and so if you know, we figured that was a good way to reach them. But I mean, it's a fair point in terms of trying to maybe better understand the social habits and um, you know, interactive habits of the people that um, may not use email or may be more easily reached on different um, platforms. Uh, so this, that is something that we could improve upon and consider in the future. We were also concerned about the, um, the, the topic, I mean, not the topic, that we had to produce a mailing list. Um, so when we thought of mailing list, the first thing that we thought we popped into our heads um, because of our demographics is an email list. So that's a great point though. Oh, thanks guys. Thank you, Theo. Um, you do. Yeah, thank you. Great, great presentation. Uh, so quick question, what do you think her biggest challenge is and what is a solution you have for that? I think right now her current challenge is that her audience is not who she wants it to be um, and that her socials are not converting. So what we did for that was that we gave her some people to emulate, um, people who has audiences that she is looking to have. Um, and we gave some strategies to try to target that audience better. And a quick follow up, I'm glad you, I thought you would say that is, is why do you think she's converting counter to the folks you wanted to emulate? Um, I think that the content is going to an audience that is not um, who she who she is intending to get to. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, you do. Um, and then uh, Janisha, uh, we'll have time for your last question. Thank you. Um, great job, you guys. Uh, I was just wondering, what has the data taught you all about the approach for branding strategy and how she actually connects with the audience? in terms of messaging? That's a great question. Um, you mean like on social, or just like with her music that she puts out and um, again. So branding in terms of how you're, you're planning to market her to target mm -hmm. the audience that you're wanting to target. Yeah, it's, it seems like maybe the, some of the topics she can focus on, um, I think it's more of the messaging and some of the visuals that she can use and some of the color schemes and trying to fall more in line, not necessarily in like a new image that she has, but um, trying to emulating the image that is put out on the socials of the artists that we recommended that she follow, um, which may differ a little bit from, from some of the content she has right now. Thank you. Great. Thank you guys so much. Um, you did an excellent job. Um, really appreciate it.